in here what was i ranting about before the phone overheated i don't remember get a samsung you are just i don't even want to learn about a samsung i i don't like electronics they're evil they're evil but they work thank you all praises to the sun for the skin too hot outside it's never too hot if it's a thousand degrees i'll be outside no you didn't miss the you didn't miss the water fast we still going you could join at any time you could do 24 hours i'm going to thursday i'm going to thursday and like i was saying if when you break the fast don't just jump into food especially starchy foods always break your fast with fruits or a smoothie Happy Monday, Amanda. Thank you. Yeah, you got to do water fast. I heard this uh, amazing analogy when I was at Return of the Gods in Atlanta. Well, glass somewhere in here. So he, this guy gave this analogy of the human body. So the human body is like this jar. And when you have a jar, you're able to... It's able to, well, this isn't a great jar, but when you hit it, it's able to resonate a frequency. You're able to resonate a sound when the jar is empty. And he said, when we sit here and we're filled with a lot of foods and we keep on eating and we keep on eating and we keep on eating and we're completely filled with no matter what it is, there's no residence. You can't vibrate at a certain frequency because you're too full. You're full all the time. You have too much waste in you. So that's the point of fasting is to eradicate the waste out of your system so that you can increase your vibrations. It's one of the reasons why a lot of people don't remember their dreams. It, it goes that deep because you can't connect to another source if you are full all the time, especially if you eat a lot of food before you go to sleep. You're too full to remember anything. Anytime your body is this full all the time, you're not going to be able to connect to another source that is higher than you because there's, there's no resonance. There's no vibration. Your cup needs to be empty, completely empty. Yes, I'm serious. Y'all too full. Y'all got to stop eating 10,000 meals a day. And like I was saying, even if you are slim, you should still water fast, especially people that are struggling with gain and weight. Part of the reason you might be struggling with the gain in weight is because your intestines are not functioning efficiently, so you're not able to absorb the nutrients. So you eat in all of this food, you 5'8", you 120 pounds, 130 pounds, and you can't absorb the nutrients because you are using the wrong foods to attempt to gain weight. So you've got to heal your gut first. I do drastic things to heal the gut i just won't eat for like three four days the longest i did on water was seven days but there's a herb that you can take that helps heal the gut you can buy this from wherever it's called psyllium husk psyllium husk allows you to fill in the holes in your intestines because we our intestines is a long tube but when you eat things that are filled with gluten like rice bread, pasta, these, these products are able to literally penetrate holes into your intestines and that's going to allow a lot of the foods that you're eating or a lot of small particles to just drop right into your bloodstream and now you got outbreaks. Your skin's breaking out, your body's breaking out and you don't know why and it's because your intestines are not working properly because you got holes in it, you got leaky gut. Um, New Age Science doesn't want to acknowledge leaky gut as an issue, but leaky gut is real. And psyllium husk helps with leaky gut. Obviously, you have to stop eating the foods that are causing the leaky gut, like the, the white rice, even brown rice and wheat. All these things have gluten. Gluten in Latin literally means, um, that's a Latin word for glue. And that's what keeps a lot of these foods together, but it will burn a hole in your intestines over time. So you can't be eating all of that garbage. Um, and you got to drink it with a lot of water. So if you do a teaspoon of this, you need to have about 16 ounces of water because it turns into a gel in your stomach. A lot of things that are healing for your intestines will turn into gel. Psyllium husk, 
Irish sea moss and slippery elm. Those are really nice things for the gut that turn into a gel, but you have to drink a lot of water with it. Ah, uh, let's see. Let me scroll up a little bit. Do a YouTube. I should do a YouTube live. Um, yeah, conscious crispness for the gut. Absolutely, because it turns into a gel. Cascara Sagrada is a beast. Let me show y'all how it looks. If I can find it. Don't leave. I'm coming. So one of a, a very powerful herb that helps to expel worms, parasite, gets rid of yeast. If you're suffering with things like psoriasis or eczema, Cascara Sagrada. Cascara Sagrada is a beast. It is bitter, but bitters you need in your life. Yeah, you can go ahead and take this as a pill form, but if you have digestion issues, you cannot take it as a pill form because your body won't be able to absorb it, so you need to drink it. And when you drink a tea that has Cascara Sagrada and other bitter herbs like bitter bark or queso wood bark, the receptors in your tongue communicate with the receptors in your gallbladder and tell it, hey, release the waste out of your body. There's a communication between your tongue and your gallbladder and your liver. And when you taste the bitters, it immediately allows your gallbladder to open up and release. So if you have gallstones, Cascara Sagrada. You could buy it in powdered form, mix it in a little water. It tastes terrible, it's terrible, but it's good for you and you need to continue to drink bitters, especially if you eat meat still, you need to have bitters. Like I said, I don't push veganism on anybody. It's a process and you'll know when you're ready for it. Um, Cascara Sagrada, I don't sell it by itself. I sell it in my detox. This is the worm and parasite detox that I post about that people say tastes terrible. And it has to taste terrible. Your body, bitters have, they correlate with your intestines. Anything you taste that's bitter usually is doing something for your colon and your small intestines. And it's a good thing. Cascara, let me write it down. Cascara Sagrada. I just wrote it here. I don't bang with distilled water. I only want spring water. Vegan all day. Train for sports. That's what I'm talking about. Vegan all day. Protein. Animal protein is a myth. It is recycled protein. You. But like I said, I ain't judging nobody because I am Jamaican. I had a lot of oxtail and rice pink peas in my life. I had a lot of escovitch fish. I'm not going to lie. The only thing I miss is fish. I'm not, I never really bang with shrimp. I only miss fish. But we eat the cow and the cow just ate the grass the cow was able to make its protein with the grass that it ate but instead of us eating the grass we eat the cow that ate the grass so now your body has to reverse <laughs> the protein mechanisms to make the protein of the cow suitable for the protein of a human because you and the cow have different different amino acids you have different protein bases you can't just eat a cow and think it's just going to assimilate with your body it don't work like that your body now has to do twice the work to break down the cow and put it it's like a puzzle piece it's like okay i got the cow the cow look like this now i have to break it down and create a puzzle so that i can make an actual amino acid that's assimilable for humans so the cow ate the grass you ate the cow and now you have to restructure the cow so that you can get something out of it i'm not gonna say you can't get nothing out of it actually i will say you can't get nothing out of it because most of these animals they get done so wrong sarsaparilla is excellent so wonderful blood purifier it's really good for men too has an affinity to the prostate oh i thank you light within the night i like your name cascara sagrada is there a way to improve eyesight of course you should be on the water fast with me <laughs> Um, eyesight issues is literally inflammation. It is inflammation. These are blue blockers. Eyesight issues is not wearing these. The blue light from the phones, 
from the iPads, from the laptops, from the TVs is destroying our vision. Aside from destroying our vision, it's destroying our pineal gland, which is deep inside of our brain. And you're probably wondering, well, how is the blue light gonna get to my pineal gland? And it uses your eyes as the roadmap to the pineal gland. That's the reason you're able to secrete melatonin at night so that you can have a good night's sleep. Most people who's tossing and turning and they sleep and can't sleep, your pineal gland is calcifying and it's calcifying not only from the tap water. I keep telling y'all to stop drinking. Stop drinking tap water. Do I have another one to show you here? No, I only have a white here. But Icelandic is good. So your pineal gland is calcifying, so you're tossing and turning in your sleep. You got heavy metals from the tap water you keep drinking because you don't want to invest in buying some decent water. You don't want to invest in buying decent water. So heavy metals is circulating from your, in your body from the tap water. And heavy metals have an affinity for the brain. You cannot drink tap water. I don't even, I have a filter on my shower. I don't even want it on my skin because it's able to penetrate through the skin. The way to improve your eyesight, I have products that is called, it's called eye repair. If you want to do it on your own, bilberry and an herb that is literally called eye bright. It don't get no better than that. Nature said, I'm going to name this herb something that we can all understand. It's called eye bright. I do a compound with bilberry, eye bright, and a cayenne. Because cayenne has a way of stimulating herbs to go where it needs to go in the body. So I always put some type of stimulant in the herb so that it knows where to travel. But eye issues is blue light toxicity issues. The blue light that comes from all of these devices that we on. And if you have kids, you got to get them off the iPads. They can't be on there all day. Kids are annoying, I know. We got to spend time with them. <laughs> we got to get them off of the iPad. So Eyebright and Bilberry are amazing with healing the eyes. But you have to get off of the phones. That's one of the reasons as a business owner, it's tough. So I have to answer emails because my people are not patient. Oh, I ordered eight minutes ago. I didn't get a tracking number. Y'all serious right now? Y'all ain't got no pay. I am not Amazon. It's me and three other people <laughs> that's running this thing. I really need time. So I don't like to be on the computers and these, these devices all of the time because it is disrupting the hormone production from not only the pineal gland, from the pituitary gland, and then it disrupts not only brain issues, it can cause issues, ovaries, test, um, your, your testicles, because all of these organs function from higher organs. Your pituitary gland, which is in your brain, is the one that tells the lower organs to start making hormones. So if you are watching TV all day, all night, especially in the nighttime, especially if you're not even going to sleep by 11 o'clock, you're not even getting the healing that's provided to you at night from melatonin. You got to go to sleep at night. You have to stop watching TV, iPads, and all that stuff. Have You got to take days off or you got to take hours off. Have hours in the day where you do not watch anything. You don't go on any screens. Go outside. Get your feet in the dirt, get your feet in the grass and ground and allow the earth to pull inflammation out of your body. That will help your eyes. This is not going to be overnight. You got to be patient. You have to be patient when it comes to your eyes because your eyes is the main source of light. And another thing that's really good for the eyes is if you sun gaze. Sun gazing and not like around this time. This is when the, the sun is very strong. But first thing in the morning... When the sun is rising and it looks a little bit more red, that red is healing to the body. There's an area behind um, the retina called the it's a SC and suprachiasmatic nucleus. But that particular area is in charge of the rhythms in your body. It tells your body when to grow hair, when to secrete a hormone. That SCN is the short name for it. When that gets disrupted from all of the blue light, you're going to have vision problems. Most, almost everybody I know has on has seeing glasses or can't see past a foot away from them. So, you got to spend time outside. You got to go outside in the sun. I'll save it. Surgery for fibroids. No way. I had fibroids. I had three. I have to post my... um. Uh, what do you call those things? The sonograms. 
But no, you don't need... It depends. Actually, it depends on the level. I had a co-worker. She had bought my fibroid package. But her fibroids were so big that I was actually able to touch it. Because it was already that large. And she's an older woman. She's 50 years old. So I told her that... Um, so she ended up doing the surgery because she was just losing way too much blood. The fibroid package that I have, it takes a lot of... It takes time. I had a woman that was able to shrink... I was able to get rid of four in three months and she had two larger ones which she's still working on right now so you don't have to have surgery depending on the severity of it it takes time oh yeah you got to heal the gut for the eyes the the gut is involved in a lot of things because everything that you put in your mouth is going to be a part of you one way or another Anything you put in your mouth is going to be a part, become a part of your body. Red blood cells don't just come from anywhere. See, this is what they don't teach us in school. I got a bachelor's degree for fun because I ain't learned nothing. I, that's not everybody's case. <laughs> Me personally, I could have kept that money in my pocket. I could have just went and did my natural school and that was it. Because everything that I learned was after I got my bachelor's. And I said, you're not getting money from me out of a master's. Oh, go get your doctorate. No, I'm not doing nothing to prove nothing to nobody. I'm not wasting no more money. I will do natural courses from healers that look like me. Because most of the courses are not for people that look like me. It's for other people. So that's why I ended up going with Dr. Africa. Improve fertility. You got to get outside in the sun too. What a lot of women don't know is lack of vitamin D is, oh my God, it causes prostate issues, it causes hormone issues, it causes ovary issues. One of the main causes for fibroids is lack of vitamin D. Fibroids? I have articles from the National Institute of Health in my drawer right now. This is how you know I'm not lying. What does that say? Vitamin D uterine fibroid. You can look this up. International Journal of Molecular Science. But you ain't gonna see articles like this just hanging out because they don't want you to know that something as simple as getting out in the sun can help you with fibroids. Lack of fibroids, lack of vitamin D is the issue with fibroids. I even have one here about how lack of vitamin D is one of the reasons for an increased rate of prostate cancer in men and it is a thousand percent the reason for breast cancer one of the higher reasons obviously the hormones from the animal product play a part in it because as animal products disrupt your hormones because they have hormones it ain't just gonna go anywhere when you have your your hormone system called the endocrine system the pituitary gland in your brain is going to tell your ovaries to start to secrete estrogen. The issue when you start having animal products, especially this is the one case where fish is actually worse <laughs> than chicken because fish has a lot of heavy metals in it. And when the heavy metals, heavy metals mimic hormones. Heavy metals mimic hormones. I will get the exact, I know mercury mimics hormones. So let's say you having fish, tap water or whatever. You got a lot of mercury in your system. The pituitary gland signals, hey, time to make some estrogen over here. Natural estrogen and the heavy metal are going to race to the, to the receptor site on your ovaries. So this is the problems with unnatural foods is they are competing for the site. It's Wi-Fi. I'm, ha I'm on the phone right now, but there's a signal. There's a tower that's going someplace for me to get the signal to be able to talk to you. If I'm having interference, it's because something else that looks exactly like the frequency that I need to get to the tower is getting there before me. So I have a, there's a little bit of static there. That's the same thing that happens inside of your body when you're unable to either get pregnant or if you have heavy periods, if you have fibroids. There are heavy metals. There are animal hormones that are getting to the finish line before your body is able to produce the hormones. Heavy metals from tap water and especially from the fish. Unfortunately, the fish are loaded with heavy metals. And they... They, there's even an article about how the fish are having sex changes in the water. That's how contaminated the water are. I gotta find it. Xenoestrogens? Is this it? The fish 
are turning into like the male fish. Oh, look. Steroids for cattle causing sex changes in fish. I don't make stuff up because I know people like to come for me. So I make sure I got receipts. Oh, let's see. I have something. Someone asked about fertility. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, rep reproductive impairment. Yeah, heavy metal is a problem when it comes to getting pregnant you also need to make sure you have coenzyme q10 when you are trying to get pregnant and you need natural foods we don't want to make a baby out of doritos and cheese doodles and oreos so women have this misconception that the time to eat crazy is when they're pregnant no 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 no, no. eat crazy when you are not housing a human eat crazy alone don't eat crazy when there's somebody else that is being created. Where you think? Where you think you getting the raw materials to make a baby from? It gotta come from somewhere. So you eating and your stomach is growing. The baby is being made from the food that you're eating. So everyone tells you have fun while you're pregnant. Whoever tells you that is a jerk and they don't love you. <laughs> I'm telling you not to eat crazy when you're pregnant. Eat pray. Eat crazy in your youth. When you have a little, then again, I had somebody that was 20 told me that her, she, her kidneys was failing. So the toxins from back in the day are a little bit, it's worse now. Cause in my twenties, I was doing some craziness and I didn't have too much ill effects until I hit 25. But if you are carrying a baby, you cannot eat crazy. You need to eat natural foods. Do not go poisoning yourself and this person that did not ask to be here. You poison yourself by yourself. So when you get pregnant, young lady that wrote me, please eat all natural foods. Polycystic ovarian syndrome is the same exact thing. It is an unbalanced hormone issue. You are producing way too much testosterone because of something in your diet. So women that have ovaries on the cyst or getting a lot of facial hair, this is a hormone imbalance issue. I feel like hormone balance issues gotta be number, uh, number one women issue. You gotta get Jamaican dogla too. I sell that on my website. This herb is excellent for balancing out hormones. Jamaican dog blood. Whether you get it from me or somebody else, this is something. And when you, when you find a regimen, you cannot just have one cup every other day. If you're dealing with PCOS or fibroids, you need to be drinking and taking herbs every day, two to three times a day. So, onions in the socks. I, my mom used to do that to me when I had fevers. And I heard that pulls the fevers out. So I still do it. I got to get you the name brand of my shower filter. Marijuana. I have a tough time with marijuana. I am Jamaican. I smoked marijuana, I think, twice in my life. It was never for me. My father was a weed head. He was a raging lunatic. So I feel like people who have parents that were addicted to stuff usually do the complete, usually do the complete opposite. Some follow in the footsteps. My father... Mm -mm. I wanted no parts of how he was. So I stayed away from weed because I seen what it did to him. It does cause behavioral issues. I prefer marijuana as a tea. As a tea, I feel like it's fine. But once you light any type of herb, you're changing the chemical composition of it. And it's no longer what you originally thought it was. And then bringing smoke into the lungs, I don't, I don't agree with that. So I, I, don't, I understand some people, it does help them. It does help them neurologically. But you have to deal with your neurological issues. You can't depend on anything. You can't run away from it. So deal with the source. If you do it once in a while on vacation, that's I don't see a problem with that. But people that can't function without it, I, mm -mm. I've seen people like that. I don't want to be around them. I'll buy it for them because I've seen people that need we need marijuana in order to have a decent day to stay calm. I don't like that. Once it becomes addictive, it's no good. ADHD. ADHD, one of the biggest problems, is candida and yeast in the gut. Kids or even adults that have ADHD problems have gut problems. There is a connection that goes from your gut all the way to your brain via the vagus nerve. This is the connection that tells, hey brain, I'm full. Some of y'all have so much candida in it, you don't even know when you're full. So you have to get the candida out of your system and if it's for a child, I do have a child candida cleanse. It don't taste too bad, but you could dilute it with water. Because most, the, the brains of children that have ADHD and autism are loaded with yeast. 
loaded their guts are loaded with yeast not their brains their guts are loaded with yeast so so that is a study that was done that showed most almost all, every single kid that had brain issues have gut issues you got to clean up if it's for a kid you got to clean up the child's diet as difficult as it is you have to just find healthy alternatives people look at me like i'm torturing my kid because i make her have salads she actually likes salads she likes junk too. Like I give her popcorn. I found a, a dairy-free popcorn that's only olive oil. So she have a little bit of fun if I if I guess if that's called fun. But I make sure that she gets greens. We are giving our kids too much options. I am not your friend. I am your mother. I don't care that you're gonna cry while you take this medicine. Cry, cry, bow your eyes out to them bleed. We don't care. Enjoy. It's ten seconds of them crying. Who cares? They'll get over it. Bad acne and acne scars. So acne is gut issues. I'm probably going to end up saying this 20 more times as I scroll down. Anything that has to do with your skin has to do with your gut. If you break out bad around your forehead, it's definitely your colon. So different areas in the face, which I would need my book for because I can't memorize too much. It drives me nuts. But if you break out a lot around your forehead, it's a gut issue. Skin issues are gut issues. Psoriasis issues is a thousand percent yeast issues. You take can, um, Cascara Sagrada or a bitter bark, you need to do a detox. Whether it's this one or anybody else's, you gotta cleanse your gut. I guarantee you, depending on how long you've had the skin issues, it takes four months to get new blood. If your skin issues are severe, you're gonna have to be clean for four months. It takes about four months to really cleanse out your blood. Your blood is your skin. Um. Vegetables never fill you up and you got to add rice. You might see water detox would be good for that too because water detoxes naturally shrink your stomach. So you're going to get full. I know by day four on water, I'm, not, I'm barely going to be able to, in, to eat anything. My stomach is going to shrink. And because that's another thing, if you have a lot of yeast in your body, that signal that your brain needs to tell you that you're full, it disrupts that. So you might be full, but you just don't feel it. Um, I said polycystic ovarian syndrome is a hormone issue. Yeah, blue vervain is ex an eye bright, excellent for the eyes. Blue vervain is excellent for the brain too. So if you have ADHD, you can make a tea with straight blue vervain. It's a little bitter, but it t it's, it's good. That's one of the best brain herbs aside from ginkgo. I like ginkgo and I like go-to cola. Go-to cola stimulates the pineal gland. So that's an excellent one too. Any type of autoimmune disease, whether uh, lupus, immune deficiencies have to do with a lack of vitamin D and also the fact that you don't have what's known as your microbiome. Your gut has a whole population of people that are helping you digest food. As um, uh, so much people in there, and their job is to help you to digest food, help you assimilate food, and help you get the nutrients from your food. That's another one of the reasons why I'm doing the water fast because I want a new microbiome. I don't like the one that I had, so I am going to start all over again, reset my body, and I want new people in here because the people that was here before they're not digesting my food properly because my nails are too brittle. So, and I know it's because I, I, I've been doing a lot of grains lately. And grain, me and grains, we don't do well. So if you have any type of autoimmune deficiency, you have to detox. You got to reset your whole system. You have to. And if you have hair issues, typically, thyroid issues. Your thyroid and your hair go hand in hand. And typically, it's because you don't have enough iodine and natural iodine. And that's where you need C moss is a very high source of natural iodine and kelp i have a product called cell fuel which i use bladder rack sea moss and kelp that helps regulate the thyroid and which in turn will assist with hair growth but you can also get sea moss on your own and don't get that farm raised bull crap if your sea moss is thick wet salty and it just looks it looks nasty <laughs> y'all know what i'm talking about that's the garbage one you have to get the sea moss straight from Jamaica. Vital Vegan Inc. is where I get my sea moss. It's the only place I get it. Vital Vegan Inc. has excellent sea moss. You'll see videos on their page of them diving to go get it. It's not this Chinese one. I used to take the Chinese one. And I was like, no, this is some bull crap. So, okay. High blood pressure. If you're overweight, most people with high blood pressure, it goes away the moment they lose weight. 
along with where'd it go i have hawthorn berries i wanted to show you hawthorn berries are an amazing herb for the our heart it really really nurtures the heart and linden leaf and linden linden hawthorn berries first if you get hawthorn berry even if you got the straight tea and you drink that like three cups a day that will help with your heart but your diet a most high blood pressure issue is a thick blood issue your blood is too thick because you're eating foods that are too gelatinous and not a sea moss gelatinous which is a good gel or a psyllium husk gel i'm talking about it's so thick because you're eating stuff with a lot of gluten a lot of rice a lot of bread a lot of pasta if you have high blood pressure Anything that's grain-like needs to be removed out of your diet. It's going to thin up your blood a little bit. Your blood is going to circulate better, and then it won't put as much pressure on your heart. And you need vitamin D. So, dental and mouth hygiene. I use neem. Neem is excellent for the mouth. It tastes terrible, but even if you bought the leaves and you crushed it up and you brush your teeth with it, it kills a lot of bacteria. Neem leaf is good. Thinning hair, you got to deal with your thyroid. Thyroid gland is responsible for your hair. You need more. You need more minerals. That's what it is. Cause that's what I need too. I'm. When I got. That's why I'm about to not eat for four days. Cause I need to reset my gut, and then I'm going to introduce some herbal teas, and then I'm going to introduce my sea moss. Um, sardines. Ew. No, we're not doing no sardines. First of all, it's sit, it, it's sitting in a container that's filled with mercury. So no to sardines. Now, kidney stage four. If you have kidney issues, you like I said, I don't push veganism on anybody. But if you have kidney issues, your options are gone. Now you're forced to go plant based because the problem is red meat, chicken, all of these different animal products. By the time they get digested into your body, they leave you with a lot of nitrogen. Your body does not like nitrogen. Your body likes oxygen. And the nitrogen in your body is what's breaking down your kidney cells. And it's breaking down your kidney cells to the point where your kidney is no longer able to release the urine without releasing all the minerals that it's supposed to keep. Your kidney's purpose is to release waste but hold back the minerals from the food. So I'm going to pee out all the stuff I don't want and I'm going to hold back the minerals. When your kidneys start to fail, everything's coming out. Every single thing's coming out and it, then after destroying your kidneys, it could be repaired though. It's not that there's no hope. For me personally, because y'all ain't going to try to come for me. For me personally, if I had a serious disease, whether it was kidney failure liver failure cancer i personally just would not eat obviously that's too extreme for a lot of people but your body needs time to heal if it's too extreme you just got to do a detox with herbs and with raw foods you could you don't have to go as extreme as water because it's very difficult for people and it needs to be monitored water fast need to be monitored but i have a book that's like a million pages that show this guy who cured countless diseases just off of water all they paid for was the service of having him there to monitor them and to spiritually guide them so they didn't lose their mind so yep we went over adhd all right most neurological issues is from the food and it is from this thing that i'm on right now which is called a cell phone so that is a problem um, low progesterone. Most of the hormone issues is because we're consuming all these other things that have hormones and it's taking over our hormones. You have to reduce the amount of times that you eat animal products. If you have meat three meals a day, if you have, there's people that I've met that have animal products, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So they have the eggs in the morning and then for lunch they might have chicken and for dinner maybe they'll have steak. So it's an elimination process. Let's do one meal a day with animal product. And then the other two, you get to more of a natural plant-based lifestyle. And not this bootleg plant-based, because some of these vegans is frauds. They eat in Impossible Burgers. They eat in bread, French fries, Oreos. That, no. When I say plant-based, I mean actual plants that you can actually Look at it and tell what it is, like a pepper or a kale or lettuce, real plants. So when I say plant-based, I don't mean go run out and buy something that's on the shelf. I mean go to the produce section and get organic foods because the pesticides and the Roundup and all the garbage that gets sprayed on the food is going to end up in your system. Those things also will destroy your gut. 
um shingles in order to eliminate any virus which includes shingles herpes hiv what other viruses it seems like herpes is a popular one because people get excited when i talk about herpes because it seems like so much people have it and it's not a bad thing herpes ain't a big deal to me the issue is getting so deep on a cleanse that you're able to change your genetics now we have been lied to by science that likes to tell us that the genetics that we are born with is what we are going to have for the rest of our lives they are liars and this is the reason why most people can't heal from things like herpes and hiv because they got into your mind and they already told you that you can't be cured they're lying so i'm going to try to get into your mind until instagram throws me off you can be cured you can be healed the reason most of pe most people don't heal or don't cure is because in the back of their head they don't believe that they can so they've taken all the herbs they've taken this they've taken that but you don't even believe it the one person you can never lie to is yourself your cells the trillion cells in your body are a community of people that's just listening to your brain all day talking a bunch of craziness so you telling tom dick and harry like yeah yeah i'm working on like i'm on this detox i'm healing and deep down you're like man this shit ain't gonna work who do you think the only the most important person that you need to convince is yourself if you convince yourself that you're going to heal then yeah you're pretty much gonna have this virus for the rest of your life the moment you can balance your physical with your mental with your spiritual can no disease survive in your body none there's a cure for all of them and it's called a holistic lifestyle people have a even hpv I know a girl that eradicated that on, I think she did a 30-day juice fast with CMOS. HPV gone. I don't understand people that get diagnosed with HPV and then go take a vaccine. You already got it. Why you put more poison in your body? Work on getting the HPV out. Change your mindset. Mindset is first. Don't take no HPV vaccine. And if you have teenage daughters, do not give them the HPV vaccine. Everything is about a vaccine. I don't bang with vaccines. And you're, like I always say in all my rants, you're not going to get me to agree that these things are going to help my immune system. They destroy them. Healthy hair and growth. Neem oil, castor oil, and like I said, sea vegetables. Your thyroid is heavily influenced when it comes to your hair. It's heavily influenced. Red clover is one of my faves. It's in my pure blood blend. I have um a tea that's called pure blood. Red clover is in there. Um... Oh, uh, yeah, I'm moving real fast. Immunization exemption. Man, the stuff that's in my head, I can't even stay on, stay on here. Because <laughs> I have to fill something out for my daughter so she can take this gymnastics camp and something else. But trust me, I'm going to get around it. I'm from Brooklyn. I'm getting around it one way or another. A toddler that suffers from eczema. So I do have a candida gut drops so and i have a testimonial from a woman that had a four-year-old whose eczema cleared up from the candida drops and i also send a card that shows you a diet guide even though the the child your child is only two set set the stone set the pace don't sit here and just stuff them with a bunch of trash to keep them quiet give the child some um not white rice not brown rice get them into fonio fonio is even easier to eat because it's lighter it's softer and it cooks in five minutes it's one of my favorite grains is from south africa f-o-n-i-o -O. my daughter likes fonio most people don't you know put a little bit of gravy on it or something but you got to get away from the grains the grains is causing a lot of the issues in the kids and the lack of breastfeeding that a lot of us women aren't doing now it's breastfeeding month get your titties out and start breastfeeding um, I gotta look into millet. I don't know, I, I've heard uh, different things about it. I'm not sure about millet. Go to cola is for the brain. Yes, and that's something you can take every day. Um, psoriasis is a gut issue. It is a gut issue. Nightshades too. Nightshades aren't great. Uh, eggplants. I still eat eggplants and tomato. I just don't have it all the time because eggplant nightshades have something called lectins, eggplant, tomatoes, and whatever other nightshade you could think of. I still eat it, but they have this molecule called lectins, and lectins can cause gut issues and start to penetrate holes in your small intestines. So if you have tomatoes every day, eggplants every day, and things like that, it will cause an issue with your gut over time. 
sharpening vision eye bright bilberry those are the really good herbs for that yes vital vegan for the sea moss yeah your dad uses hawthorn berry hawthorn berry is boss for the heart purple sea moss paradise i never tried their stuff but if you like it i love it acid reflux everybody named mother got acid reflux acid reflux you got to drink more water so i'm gonna give you the cheapest way to heal acid reflux you drink more water which is going to assist with the acidity in your stomach and you have to stay away from grains and obvious acidic foods like chicken you give yourself like even if you're not vegan just give yourself like a week away from the white rice the brown rice pasta dairy the things that are really acidic your esophagus needs time to heal for the acid reflux you have a little door that's between your esophagus and your stomach that door starts to erode because you're having too much acidic foods so instead of the door staying shut after you eat it starts to open up and then it lets the acid flow and then you're like Ugh! you got to give time for the door to stay closed hemorrhoids you need something that's going to help tighten and tone your veins you probably yeah hemorrhoids sticking out of your booty which hazel is good for the external but people with hemorrhoids have a acidic diet stomach fat Ooh, i wish i had an easy way around that i'd be rich i always say you gotta cut out the grains and intermittent fasting i've had people that kept a trashy diet and all they did was start eating from 12 to 8 or 11 to 7 and they told me they lost like 20 pounds in a month and they, they still kept eating crap they just cut out breakfast and they cut out the late night eating that alone people told me it was like oh the intermittent fasting works because i wrote a book too i don't know where it is but intermittent fasting can help lose stomach fat but if you have breakfast lunch and dinner all spread out like that first thing in the morning you will see a difference from having no breakfast strength and vision see a lot of people are right in vision y'all think this phone stuff is is a joke the blue light from the phone the blue light from the laptops and the ipods is destroying our vision we are very sensitive to light we're sensitive to electromagnetic frequencies unnatural light anything any light that is not from outside is going to disrupt your endocrine system your hormone system because a lot of our systems are regulated through light we're light bodies the light travels into your eye and then it goes down your optic nerve a lot of processes in our body which i'll go through on a video when i can say it in english instead of science because that's the goal i want to say stuff in english so we can get it but a lot of processes in our body are regulated through light we're light bodies and we're very sensitive to the frequencies of light because if this is a cell and something is next to the cell that's resonating at the same frequency of the cell it's going to start dis disrupting the cell so now the cell is floating along everything is going good and now i got a cell phone really close to the cell like a lot of women we like to put a cell phone in our in our bra stop doing that stop doing that so now the radiation from the cell phone is starting to disrupt our cells so the cell is like ooh. There's a foreign invader. Something is vibrating at the same, at a similar frequency because the radio frequencies from the phones and the laptop, they're very similar to the frequencies of the human body. So now your cells, this is a cell for anyone just coming in. Now the cells are thinking, oh, something's out there that I need to protect you from. So I'm shutting it down. Now the cell turns into security and the cell isn't going to let waste out and it's not going to let nutrients in. That's how terrible radiation from the phone the cell phones printers and everything i have in here that's how bad it is it really will stop the cells from doing its job so your cells are supposed to be able to release waste and they're supposed to be able to absorb nutrients the moment you have a cell phone in your bra or brothers you like most guys you put your cell phone in your pockets you got it next to your nuts get the cell phones away from your nuts or you can get a case. They have cell phone cases that help protect you from the blue, from the radiation from the cell phones. The moment your cell recognizes a device that's vibrating at a frequency close to the cell, your cell is gonna close. And it's officially a bouncer at the strip club that's not letting the cornball in. That's what your cell is gonna turn. Ain't nobody getting in. Ain't nobody getting out. That's it. That is what the radiation is gonna do. I'll elaborate that in a less ratchet way on a video. I'm gonna save the live smoking weed i don't like anything with smoke i, I like marijuana tea 
as a tea, I feel like it's great. But the moment you start bringing in smoke into your body, it's not a chimney. It's not a chimney. I understand if you do it from time to time, you on vacation, whatever. That's not going to have any detrimental effects. But the moment that you're addicted to it, that's a problem. You don't want to be addicted to anything. Yes, don't smoke the herb. Drink it. Um, oh, this water is Waikia. Waikia. I got it from Amazon. Let's see. It's sarcoidosis. I got to Google that. I don't know what that is. Phytoplankton is good. At, before my last live cut off, there's a brother. He's amazing. His name is KT, the Arch Degree. He sells phytoplankton. Phytoplankton is a beast because your body needs minerals to function. We are minerals. To break us down, we go from atoms to molecules, and then from molecules, we come together to make organs and then from organs we come together to become a human but when you break everything down we're all minerals so if you don't have minerals if you don't have minerals like what's in phytoplankton then you have a problem and that's why i say like for people that are not going to become vegan i'm going to continue to eat fish don't get farm raised fish at least if you get the wild caught fish you can get some of the benefits of the phytoplankton that's in the ocean that they're eating phytoplankton is another sea vegetable that's extremely nutritious so if you go and buy, if you're going to eat fish and you're going to eat chicken, don't be cheap with it. If I see you having farm-raised tilapia, but you have on red bottoms or you have on these, this crazy looking outfit, you are out of your mind. Most of my money goes to food. I wear a lot of hand-me-downs and I'm proud. I don't really buy that much clothes. I get a lot of hand-me-downs. Yes, Vital Vegan Inc. is the name of the sea moss company quinoa i bang with quinoa quinoa is lovely um if you did chemo after having cancer you definitely need a heavy metal detox you got to get all that radiation out of your body and also with the fruits don't be cheap with your fruits if i see y'all out here eating organic seedless fruits i'm gonna backhand you okay What's good for blood health? Burdock root. Burdock root is number one. Burdock root, sarsaparilla, yellow dock root. These are the things that help to build your blood. I have an iron formula that I'm actually going to put back on the site today. It is a blood builder. It's amazing. It's organic. I don't use alcohol with my formula like most tinctures because most people already have digestive issues. So I don't want to make it worse. Wild rice is good. You just need the natural grains. Grains like wheat are a byproduct of three other grains and that's why we have such a difficult time digesting wheat and that's why wheat is literally able to bore a hole in our intestine wheat is a wheat is dangerous that's why i'm doing a water fast right now because i was i was having too much wheat it's very sad best grains fonio is my favorite f-o-n-i-o -O. it's fast to cook and it's not going to give you the bloating and the fattiness like white rice and brown rice. So Fonio is number one for me. Quinoa is amazing. Kamut is amazing. Wild rice is amazing. I think that's all that I really do. Anemia, you need oxygen. And the only way to get oxygen is if you have iron. If you have heavy periods, and I'm talking about the Red Sea for seven days, you're going to always have anemia problems. You have to deal with the uterine issues in order because most women are anemic. Why is it that women are anemic and men aren't? Because we are bleeding way too long. You're not supposed to be bleeding for seven to ten days or whatever craziness that people tell you is normal. Oh, your cramps are normal. Bleeding for seven days is normal. They're lying. It's not normal. I have not had a cramp in tw ten years. The last time I had a cramp was before I did a full body detox. Not my own because I was only 24. The last time I had cramps was when I did a full body detox. The moment I did raw vegan, I did almost a, I did a year vegan, half the year was raw vegan. I never had a menstrual cramp again. And I was the type that was rolling around in the hallway like a maniac while people were stepping over me. Never had a cramp again. That was 10 years ago. Periods got short, three days. And now I'm working on one day. I'm going to get there. Probably after a water fat. I just got to cleanse up a little bit more. Um, nodules on the thyroid. You got to get those minerals in there. And fasting too. You should probably join me on this water fast. Skin issues are blood issues. And blood issues are gut issues. Because whatever you put in your mouth is going to end up in your blood. And whatever is on your blood is going to end up in your skin. 
bulging there's just people that have healed disc in their spinal cord just from cleansing up and fasting it's inflammation so with the anemia you got to get your iron up and your body's not going to be able to keep the oxygen until you have enough iron in your body you gotta we gotta reduce these periods and nobody should be bleeding for no seven days that is crazy i don't know how i was able to do that um i don't know what that is lipoma i'd have to look into that that's why i like learning new stuff see i can write it down lipoma there's way too much names for diseases for me to know everything that you're going to ask because all of these doctors like to give different names to the same thing so that someone can make money. It's the same thing. I bet you this is probably like something close to maybe something in circulation. Anytime somebody tells me a name of a disease that I never heard of, I read it. I'm like, oh, this is bullshit. I can't believe they really sat here and renamed this again. Bunch of liars. Um, fatty liver, you, you, you got to take care of that because your liver... Outside of the blood is one of the most important things that's going to keep you alive because your liver is just overworked and underpaid. You need to give your liver a break. One of the things that you might not going to like, I don't know if it was a guy or girl that asked me, one thing that relieves a lot of waste that's held up in the liver is enemas. And not just plain enemas, coffee enemas. That's right. I put coffee in my butt. Coffee enemas help with liver issues because it allows the liver to open up release the waste and get it out of your colon you gotta get on that lip you gotta get away from the fatty foods the fried foods all that other garbage prescription vitamin d i have a, a all natural one that i take in the winter time but that's why i'm always outside cooking because the thing with the vitamin d is you can get some now to save for later. But I usually make sure to go away in the winter time. That's where my money go. Food and vacation. And I wear hand-me-downs. I love hand-me-downs. So this is the vitamin D3 supplement I have. I'm not taking it right now. It just happens to be up here. But that's the one that I would take in the winter. But I usually don't because I make sure to treat myself to a vacation in the winter time. Somewhere hot. So I could get the real benefits of the vitamin D. Because you can't get the 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 benefits that you could get from the sun the sun is healing the colors that the sun emits are healing the frequencies from the sun are healing the fact that the sun is able to turn chlorophyll in your blood into a potent antioxidant called coenzyme q10 you can't get that in a bottle the sun is free if y'all don't go on vacation go on vacation go on vacation immediately Oh, yeah, I need to, it's to do with the immune system. Need to make sure I move away from mucus that affects my... Okay, so sarcoidosis. You see, sarcoidosis. You see all these fancy names? I can't stand when they do that. Yeah, so you need a detox and you need things that's going to strengthen your lung like a mullen. Mullen is an amazing herb that strengthens the lung. It's a very nice fluffy flower. You can get it as a tincture. You can get it as a tea. And I also have it on highfrequencetea.com. I have a nice respiratory relief. But for something to that extent, you need to do a detox first before you even get into the tea for the lungs. Well, thank you, Remzi Knuckles. Um, mucus buildup, you need a detox. And if you if you eat da- if you eat dairy or drink dairy, you definitely gonna have mucus. All cows are is mucus. Dairy is the devil. Ain't no red man with horn. It's a cow. So <sighs> good for the kidneys. Juniper berries. Juniper berries. And it starts with a K. What is the name of it? It's this herb that's great for the kidney. It's still with a K. It'll come back to me. It's in my formula too. But juniper berries is a boss. Astragalus root is really good for the kidneys too. Astragalus. Let me write it. A-S-T-R-A-G-A-L-U-S. Astragalus root. Somebody asked me about shilajit. Was it you? Shilajit. I need to look that up too. I guess that's a herb. There's a lot of herbs. Where do I find fruits with seeds? Where do you live? (laughs) So I go 